My name is Caitlin Reitz, and I am the composer of the first classical music piece to drop on Async Music Blueprints. I composed a string quartet, a generative string quartet, called Element. Generative, what does that mean? So there are 300 editions, and each of those editions, once minted, will be a totally unique version of the piece. I'm a pretty passionate advocate and activist for the environment. It's been something I've been passionate about for most of my life. I have the World Wildlife Fund panda tattooed on my foot. So I knew that I wanted to have a charitable aspect of this to make sure that we're doing some good as well. So a portion of the sales from this NFT project will be going to the Clean Air Task Force, who work at the legislative level to help pass laws that limit carbon emissions. I'm so lucky to have found artist Jana Stiblova to make the beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking art for this project. I can't imagine a better fit for, you know, these earthly elements than that just like gritty textural art that she makes. Now there's going to be two types that are possible to mint. There's going to be a before type which is totally acoustic, kind of simulating, you know, the way the earth was before. Pure, pristine, gorgeous. And there's an after type that has a lot of effects on it. The effects were made by a good friend of mine. His name is Eric Wright. He plays in a band called Speaker Face. He's a string player, but it, they do electronic music, and there's no better person to ask to do this than him. And it's just torn apart, you know? It's just ravaged with glitches and EQ that sounds like things are underwater and distortion and all that jazz. So under the two types, we have the elements under every instrument. So in a string quartet, there's violin one, violin two, viola and cello, and each of those instruments has four different options that the algorithm can choose once the piece is minted. Those options are going to be earth, fire, air, and water. In my composing, I try to reflect those sounds on the instrument. I felt that earth was very matter-of-fact, very grounded, no pun intended. Um, it just felt very um, March-like to me almost. So in this opening we have It just, you play it, it's what it is. Then we have water, which is more flowing, more syncopated, more legato. fire, which is staccato and tense. And we have air, which is kind of my favorite one because I got to use a bunch of these harmonics. So in thinking of what to make the rarities of each of these elements, each of these types, I really wanted to reflect that, you know, our actual climate crisis in those rarities. So, on the before type, the elements are going to be mostly equal. They vary a little bit, but like, they're, you know, almost equal for each of them. But in the after type, we're going to see way less water, way less air, way more fire, because there's way more fire these days. Um, and the after type is much more rare than the before type, trying to reflect the scarcity of our natural resources and the destruction of the planet. It's a lighthearted topic. I've never written a string quartet before. This was the most ambitious composing project I've ever had. Um, you know, composing a string quartet is hard enough but to um, make a string quartet with 16 parts that can fit together at random was, was, a, was a big 
job for me and um, I had so much fun writing it and recording it and um, yeah I'm just really excited for y'all to hear it. Head to Async Music Blueprints to mint yours today. Thank you.